Okay team, you know what this means. I am seriously coffee deprived and here goes. I am about to do zone five. Energy in a cup. Hello and welcome back. If you're new to my channel, I'm Deirdre and today is zone five in my cleaning system. And it's actually quite late. I have to get it done today because it's the last day of August. So it's Friday afternoon. I've been busy. It's cold outside. There is no light. So it's all artificial and horrible in here. I'm sorry, but I will do what I can. I've got to get bathroom, laundry, loo. They're the ones I have to get done. I'm not going to be able to get to my car today. It's pouring outside and I don't want to wash my car when it's wet. So I'll do that over the weekend. But you've seen me do that before and you know the system. Take it to the auto wash, let it go through and then I go all over it with a cloth and I do the windows on the inside. I vacuum it and I clean up all the chrome and particularly do the mirrors and get rid of that spider that lives in my driver's window once again. Because I just don't know how to get rid of it. I don't want to kill it. I want to find it and get it out. You know, but it doesn't. It re it's really happy there. And it doesn't make really big webs. And it's so unlike me to not be hating it. But it's on the outside. It's only spiders on the inside that I have a problem with. And Princess has got a big mark on her too. And if you don't know, Princess is the name of my car. And um, yeah, she had a fight with something in the car park apparently. So yep, not fun. She's going to have to go to the cosmetic surgeon. Okay, so here I am, zone five, end of August. So what I'm going to do first is my usual thing, which is to nip into the loo, squirt around a bit of loo cleaner, give it a bit of a scrub, let it sit. Dwell time, people, dwell time. It's when the cleaning happens. And um, do a quick squirt, squiz with all of this and just leave it to sit for a little while and then I'll go back in and wipe. Uh, and then I'll come back in and clean in here and it does need a good clean. Okay team, um, I just put a cap on because I thought well maybe it will distinguish me slightly from the walls. I didn't look for a black one and uh, you're crooked. Whoops, here we are. Um, I couldn't, well I, I know I've got a black one but I just couldn't reach for it at that moment. So, just let me know if it annoys you. I'm sorry but it's just, I feel like I disappear. Right, as usual I'm going to start at the top with my long you know anti-spider device and I'm going to scoot around the top and uh, I know there's nothing up there but I like to be sure this which is an Australian product called Co and it comes with uh, you get it in what looks like sort of a wine cask if you're old enough to remember those um, but it comes with its own cleaning cloths and this one even has this cute little thing with a little scrubby bit in the corner it's about as harmless as it could be and yet it seems to work rather well I'm going to do what I always tell people to do and I'm actually going to do it myself this time I'm going to spray it on and leave it for a little while and then come back to be fair, my shower's pretty good. Just an extra squirt because I felt like it. Uh, my shower's pretty good because A, every time I use it, no, every day, uh, sometimes twice, uh, I use the squeegee to just wipe out, squeegee out uh, any of the moisture, straight up, just the excess. And then um, another method product that I use is this. And can you see it? Oops, let's take it a wee bit lighter. Here we are. It's called the Method Daily Shower, naturally derived shower cleaner. And it smells of Liang Liang and it smells so good. And it says non-toxic plant-based power green technology cleans without having to rinse. And basically what you do, uh, what I do, is after I've squeegeed it, I just squirt. <laughs> the tiles and the glass, I don't put it on the tiles on the floor because it is slippery and a dear friend of mine used it on the bath because it was a shower over a bath and she fell and 
thankfully wasn't seriously injured but she could have been and she ended up with the most horrendous bruising. Don't spray it on anything you're going to walk on. Well I just had to go and change batteries and of course I couldn't immediately find mine of course and I realized I brought my timer in and I forgot to use it but what I will remember to do then is light a candle because really you don't have to be cleaning bathrooms on your own. It's nice if it smells good. Just a lesson that I've learned And so it goes Tables turn In your own Well that's that bathroom scrubbed up for another month. It'll get its weekly scrub and brush. And I've done a little declutter, it didn't really need it, but um, and the shower is very clean. So, so far I'm quite happy with that. That cleaner, it did get off any shower scum that there was. Uh, floor's clean, popped down a white mat. I think in honour of spring I've gone pink and white to go with blue. So, bathroom, check, done. And it does smell good. Oh, gee, that smells fabulous. Oh, I suppose I could roll up, the, put these away. There we are, that looks a bit tidier. There, a last little thing done. Now, you know what cleaning a loo looks like, so I've sprayed everything. It's been sitting now for about 20 minutes while I did the rest, and I'm going to go in there and give it all a very good scrub. And there you go, all nice and clean and fresh. Now. And now for the last thing to clean up. Mm. And this is the problem. But yes, I've got to sort out this area. Things that are on the floor. This is the box full of the cleaner. As I say, that's a very carefully says do not drink. Got some extra laundry detergent down there when it was on special. Some paints. It's just a bit messy really, isn't it? And I think I just have to take everything out and sort it. Now, to get started, I've just cleaned up under here, which is under the, uh, the laundry tub. And I like to do that because, you know, I have a thing about spiders. And then what goes on the other side is this. And this is a, a gardening bag that was my Mother's Day present from my then husband and children a very long time ago. And it is still in excellent condition and is still used frequently. There is a good reason why you must always buy an, something that's a really good present because years and years and years and years later it's still being used and enjoyed. And here we go, it's tidied. I have my little 
creatures up here, keeping a watch on things. I have the bags that you do delicates in here. I have my pegs in here. And here I just have my laundry liquid and some wool wash. Behind it I have some uh, fabric softener and some of the uh, enzyme cleaner that I never use anymore. I just use this and the clothes are not hard or anything and yet I'm not putting all of that fragrance I suppose really it's onto it. I need, I need a laminator so I can put big pretty things here and this is what I'm getting rid of. <laughs> one plastic bag, one little tray, a dried up cleaning paste, a very dead roller. These go back in the car, I don't know why they're here at all and that goes in the recycling. So then over here I have cleaned this up to this is just the a full bucket load of cleaning things, you know, like brushes and the squeegee and those magic white erasers. These are some dusting cloths that I'm just using up. There's some plastic gloves in there, that's about it. Another couple of dusting things. Uh, here are some of the cloths that I'd use if I was doing a really dirty job and didn't want to ruin the microfiber ones. These are they're called diamond sponges and they came with this. So yeah, I apparently use it on very heavy duty things. Up here I've got one of these cleaning cloths that came with that liquid. I've got the, the microfiber cloths, I've got the green for general, um, blue for the loo basically, apart from the ones that are specially for windows. Um, and the rest are just general, to be honest I use the yellow on my car. And here, here are some extras and also some of those sort of specialist things like um, that's a heavy duty degreaser which is great and that one is the granite cleaner up here I've got the wood cleaner no somewhere I've got the wood cleaner which is great and the floor which is the almond also love that smell and I've just got the one I make and then over here I've got that box a few extras things tall things in the back and painting things mainly on the bottom in here I've got a load of the microfiber cloths ready to go and that is so much better and that's me done for the week, which is great, and for another month of zone cleaning. Uh, of course, for me, I start again all over again, but you don't have to come along for that. And I think I probably do it more thoroughly when I'm doing it for you than I do it just on a daily basis, you know, weekly. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. Some things I'll do more, some things less. So, there we are. That is the end of August, and I can't believe it. So, the, the fun now really starts because tomorrow here it's spring <laughs> this, don't ask about the temperature uh, or the fact that it will be raining it's been a super dry winter doesn't mean it's been sunny a lot it just means that we haven't had a lot of rain we've had a lot of gray days when it hasn't rained so what's coming up in spring well I want to get out and start walking again now that my foot has nearly healed and I will take you with me um, there's, there are lots of fabulous walks around Melbourne and um, I think it would be great fun to, to do some of them together. And I want to get a few projects done so if you'd like to follow along with me see what I get up to in spring then please subscribe and hit that notification bell to let you know when I upload a video uh, and share with family and friends and give me a thumbs up if you like these sorts of videos if you like to watch somebody else clean I know I do and I hope that whatever you're doing this week, you're having a wonderful time. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.